out of 100 qualification calls that you'll do, only 10 will be good enough for a demo. If that's the case, something is definitely funky. You really should be looking for 20 to 25%. So one out of four, one out of five. If your qualification calls and your demo calls are all sorts of janky, as in what you've got right now, you are probably not either A, having a strong enough direct offer. If you have a strong enough direct offer, that will pull people into paying you money. So you may be running to a scenario like, hey, um, get 30 qualified leads in 90 days or less or something like that. That's not a particularly strong offer anymore. You're going up against people like me that are saying booked appointments, um, guaranteed customers. Alex Ramosi is saying guaranteed show up so you don't pay. So like if you have a weak offer, people will still sign up, still waste your time, but not want to do a demo. You need a really, really, really strong offer. Uh, that's number one. Number two is you need to do what's called an asshole text or a welcome text. And that is just simply an automatic text messaging message saying, hey, I want to confirm this is what you want, which is my direct offer. Um, and it's so funny, this is the same thing I shot earlier today. Great question. I want to confirm this is what you want. I only really view those as somewhat qualified, the people that respond yes or no. So I'm not looking at like 15 people that signed up and then calling back 15 and calling them qualification calls. That's such a false positive. And if I told my clients like, hey, you have to call back everybody, they'd be like, no, I'm not doing that tough. I'm only calling qualified people. So Sean, you may be doing that scenario where you've got a weak offer that's really incentivizing people to sign up saying, hey, click here, sign up to learn more, when it should be, hey, do you want this direct offer? 10 to 15 Invisaligns sold every single month, guaranteed. Do you want this direct offer? If yes, click here, right? And then an automation trigger saying, hey, just want to confirm you want to sell 10 to 50 more Invisaligns every single month. Is that correct? Yes. Then that starts my qualification, right? That's where I'm having that conversation. Great. How many Invisaligns are you doing every single month? How much are you charging? What's your goal? Would you like to schedule a demo? When I do that, I'm getting one out of four turning into a demo and I'm closing one out of two or one out of three demos. And that should be your thought process. I think what could be happening for you and maybe everybody else here, and again, caveat, I haven't seen your stuff. I don't know, you're not part of the IC, so I can't like, like check it and make sure it's working according to like an industry standard or what's already working and the recipe behind it. I'm just making a, the assumption that like you're probably doing, hey, sign up for more information and we'll call you back. Wouldn't that be great? Which is overly friendly and is a good, uh, has good signups, but really bad qual calls and really bad demos. And now I'm not in the business of getting an F ton of people on my list. I'm in the business of getting demos. So I start with the demo, which is, do you want to buy this? And then the qualification call is, I just want to confirm you want to buy this, right? And my ad is a direct offer saying, hey, can we do this? So I hope that makes a lot of sense. You could be having that problem. I'm trying to answer uh, this question way it makes a lot of sense for you um, and everybody else as well. If not, I've totally missed the mark, but that's just my suspicions. Again, you could be having, you have to string along your direct offer through that whole process. And then my qualification calls um, are one out of four, maybe one out of five, and my demos are one out of two, one out of three. I don't even look at the leads. I don't care, right, at all. I'm not saying somebody signed up, I need to contact them. Nope. Did they respond to that asshole text saying, hey, idiot, are you sure you wanted this? Yes, great, let's talk. Now, I'm in a very blue collar niche, so maybe that's, that's not correct. Uh, I'm in a very uh, short tempered niche, so maybe that's not correct. I'm in a very low education niche, so maybe that's not correct. But what I've discovered is that when I send that text message saying, hey, do you want this? Just confirming. Well, then my qual calls and my demos work a lot better. In fact, I looked at the numbers and every single person that paid me money said yes to that asshole or welcome text. So I hope that makes a lot of sense.